I will kick this world clean. I crave everything. The upcoming champion set to join the massive League of Legends roster is Velvet, the Empress of the Void. A figure of nightmares, Velvet feasts on experience and emotions, and this is expected to feast on opposing junglers when she is officially added to the game. Experience and emotions, kinda is scary, right? And today we will discover much and more scary things about Velvet. So, first in your seat bell and stay with this channel for more. Introducing the new champion, Velvet, a void beast shaped like a manta ray who will fit into the League of Legends jungle role. I personally love this champion as a mid lane headless god. I mean, this must be a goddess, not god, but it is a good to be him with the jungler as he has tons of dashes. I mean, Velvet actually flash in every second. This is even more scary when. Every execution he gets a reset of abilities with the help of Void Essence which makes him much more scary too. As when the enemy champion or monster dies, she gets untargetable and transforms into a new version of Velvet, sorry we should call her a Void Beth, like she is the queen of the underwater city Void City, where Maljahar is as a kid as she has everything the Void has consumed and further that she plans to devour the world. Riot wants to be against us but uh, unfortunately we got scared really. I mean did you hear the sound effects out there? And uh, let's discover much more amazing thing about the champion. The passive is called Death in Lavender. Velvet's passive ability causes champion jungler minion and a super minion to drop void essence when they died. She collects this from a passive stack she can active, which gives her life steal against jungle minions and send a void storm against the towers. The swarm can attack towers and uh, heal Velvet. This is much more overpowered from my point of view. And coming up next, the Q, oh, we should call this uh, the Void Surge. Uh, one of Velvet's uh, reported abilities, Void Surge, is a dash that propels her forward in a four targeted directions she appears to deal damage to the opponents and slow them if she dashes through them reducing the cooldown of the next dashes so this is kind of you will dash in every seconds and the, the next ability called the above and below which is in w will also make use of a knockup abilities called above and below that fires in a straight line about as wide as two minions standing shoulder to shoulder. Coming up next the Royal Millstrom which is the E. Velvet has the charge AOE attack likely called the Royal Millstrom that explodes outward within a small radius. It also appears to be she can be damaged enemy champion while she is charging the ability while also pulling them towards to her i mean this is pretty much uh, op and coming up next the ultimate ability the endless banquet uh, velvet appears to unlock her true from in her ultimate uh, endless banquet what this called the banquet or banquet i am really confused but uh, buffing all her other abilities as our health also the magic resistance and the armor and the damage overall everything will be buffed up with this endless burn coat she consumes her passive stacks from a void swarm that damages nearby champion and the swarm refreshes after a champion killing and her ultimate ability is a game changer once properly activated it can be unstoppable Hope Riot will keep a note about this, champion mechanics are pretty up to date but uh, needed to be balanced after all. And yeah, that's all from today guys and uh, I really excited to play this on Summoner Rift, hope see you all soon. So guys make sure you stay with this channel and subscribe, see you all soon, till then have fun, good luck and peace.